Alright, how's it going everybody? Lord Orange here, and we are back with episode 3 of Persona 4 Golden. So, where we last left off, we got introduced to a few more characters, and yeah, we're just, I'm pretty sure that we're just gonna go to sleep, and then move on to the next day. So yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far, if so, uh, feel free and let me know in the comments once again, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and rest. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and rest. Is it, is it going to be a third time? Someone. <laughs> Maybe you should help him. Finally. Good lord. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um, oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <clears throat> <laughs> Yosuke seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Yeah. Was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. How he didn't even have like a seat like on the back of like his tire. How would I? Uh, I'm not gonna question it. All right, be quiet, you idiots. You guys are all, you guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now go get your books out. Damn. They listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Sweet. So, you getting used to this place? Yeah, I am. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? <laughs> I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? <laughs> oh shoot, I skipped it again. But you guys got the general gist. Jun Junez Food Court. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I looked at the controls last time and it seems like on PC X is the backlog, so I'm gonna try and just this try that is out. The too. cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here! Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeload okay, train, sweet. I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Cool, cool. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadanaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the conversation became animated over small talk. 
It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> yeah, I was about to say, what's going on there? Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. I'm gonna just say it. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's not. Hey, I did it if again. we need All to right. talk, I'm always. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm willing to listen. I. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why did I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's Damn, a good guy, but he can one. get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> yeah, he's annoying now. No, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? It is of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? Jeez. <laughs> You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see someone or can see one soulmate on our any night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. <sighs> After. Uh, uh, not after. Another dinner alone with Nanako. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. Oh! He's home! <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. 
You're late again. I'm sorry. Been busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hiragi, an Enka singer. I'm not sure what Enka means, but we'll, um, maybe I'll explain later. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. I think it was a student. An interview with a kid? <laughs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Oh, did dang, you tell she was true. dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Female student's face and voice are indistinct, but you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Yeah, no kidding, that's the chick that was at Gina's. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seem to be per seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking cl closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yosuke-senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, <laughs> can we go to Juness together sometime? He's sleeping. No? He seems to be asleep. Jeez. I'm sure that you guys will end up going to Juness together sometime. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Nanako is still watching TV. Let's check the sink. Uh, because it isn't very used often, because it isn't used very often, what was I saying? Um, <laughs> the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save, and then we'll keep going. Uh, you're reminded... You made, that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. Let's watch the TV in my room. You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chia's story be true? Ooh, anime.
thou art the one who opens the door. <laughs> Did you just get sucked into a TV? Guess so. Jeez. Ow. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. Well, good night. Have a good night, Nanako. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Sorry. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. Chie forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves. And I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the move. <laughs> Unfortunate. By the way, did you see it? I did. Aha, do tell, but the person it showed. Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Uh, um. Oh, uh, it's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and run the rest of the way. I feel like she's a competitive type, so... Then let's race. Huh? We're both going to run through the rain? What's the point in that? But oh. <laughs> Besides, it's not like I wanted to make a break for it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> am I worrying too much? Eh, I'll keep going with you anyway. Come on! Alright, let's go. Egyptian, okay. Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofue. I'm not, by the way, once again, I'm sorry if I butchered Japanese, because <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but um, my name is Kimiko Sofue, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser and look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river if it was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profoundly, the the, prof, the profoundity of history together. Ho ho ho! And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Yu, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domi, uh, Anno Domini, uh, the traditionally uh, believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? 1 BC. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no such concept of z the zero as a number. That's why, when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Sweet. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. 
Y yo, um, it's a, it's not really that important, but, well, yesterday on TV, I, uh, oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today, either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko! Are you helping out at the inn today, too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see... it last night? Huh? Uh, well... What about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But... My soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length, she was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You, you must, must have just fallen fall. asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! <laughs> We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decided to go to Junez with the others. Junius, electronics department. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope, can't get in. Figures. <laughs> <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model, just released this spring. <laughs> what? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit, it's a little old, but... With a TV this big, you might be able to go inside. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Oh boy. Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of... New model? 
L like with a, a new function? Hell no. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean, inside? Wh what do you mean, empty space? It seems very spacious in here. W what do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Oh, boy. Shit. Customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we gonna do? Look, wait! Oh. Ah! Okay then. Juness? Hell no it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Um... So... Uh... We're still alive, right? I think so. Uh, where are we? Are you guys okay? Is this a dream? I'm gonna ask if they're okay. Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. Uh, of course it is. Wow. Okay. They made that same joke basically in Persona 5 as well, so I didn't expect that. That's fun. Alright. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Huh? But, but... Look, we need to get home and... Yeah, that's what I mean. We need to look for... We need to look around huh? for a way to get home. Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in. Or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know! Don't ask me! I can't take this anymore! I want to go home! Okay, so how? Let's calm down. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. Alright. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in. So we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog 
it's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but... It seems that there is no choice now but to continue onward. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? It's a dead end. There's no exit. Keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. No kidding. That is the. There was that one chick. It wasn't the one that died, but it was. It was the other. It was the other one. I can't remember who, but I remember seeing her in a cutscene. So maybe we'll learn soon enough. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke! What are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care! Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Look at that noose, yeah. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on! Let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit! Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place! And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body feel does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. I think that's Teddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is, yo. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What Genuinely? in the world? You, who knows? Genuinely. That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked. Well, what are you? You want to fight? The, don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What is this place? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, 
You should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! Are we going to come out at Junez or are we going to be somewhere else? That's my question. Huh? Is this... Did we... Make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so there does that go. mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Hey, welcome home. You still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She discovered the body. People feel sorry for her. Um, I'm going to see what he says. I don't want to just be blunt and just say, like, she discovered the body. So I'm going to say she wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest... We got a call from her family. She's disappeared. What? We've got Damn. people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn. It's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by Yukio's family. 
and it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. Alrighty, everybody. So, I'm going to save over the first one now. But, a lot of stuff happened in this episode. Um, so, I mean, that's actually just pretty crazy. So, we have gone to whatever that alternate universe is by going through that TV, which is pretty and, like, just interesting it definitely has my attention um but yeah so i'm gonna call it here and uh you guys can look forward to episode four of persona 4 golden uh here pretty soon so if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like uh and yeah with that being said i'm gonna bounce but have a good one